He is the highest scoring overseas Premier League player and he has five Premier League titles with Manchester City, Sergio Aguero. He deserves me, is in the Hall of Fame. He did it for a good nine, ten years. I mean, that's not easy for any player to do it, first of all, but for him as well as a foreign player. So, yeah, he's just an amazing player. Sergio was a special player. Some of his goals for Man City and some of them are, like, unreal, incredible. Aguero, we're basically talking about one of the Premier League's greatest finishers. Also, I think a player that symbolised the Premier League itself, and not just Manchester City, moving into a new era where they were signing truly global stars at a key point in their careers. Sergio is one of the best, you know, one of the best centre forwards I think the Premier League's ever had. And we've had some iconic ones, but you know, Alan Shearer and Thierry Henry. And, but Sergio's right up there. Just being on the uh, Hall of Fame in the Premier League is not for everyone. It's just for those players who really been doing some incredible stuff for so many years in the greatest league in the world. Wimpa final Ranger iba a descender. Sabíamos que se iban a jugar la vida también. Pero, pero bueno, eh, fue muy, muy extraño. And look into the eyes of players, for many of whom this is amongst the games of their life. Porque yo, por ejemplo, fui todo el partido un desastre. Chico, eh, siempre la frase mía es cuando veo. Um, De mis compañeros le digo, ustedes tranquilos, denme la pelota y yo lo soluciono, pero jodiendo, ¿entendés? Entonces se cagan de risa. Hasta que en un momento pensaba, digo, no me sale una, pero cuando hace el gol seco. Bueno, ahí en mi cabeza es como que volví y dije, Bueno, alguna me tiene que quedar, no sé, pero pensé o a algún o a alguien le tiene que quedar una. That moment in 2012 was an emotional roller coaster. You know, I was playing obvious and I remember picking up the ball from the defense and driving it forward. And my my, my first instinct um, was to go wide because David Silva was playing from the right side and you know our our mission was to 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 whip the balls in from the side, cross the ball because we had everybody in the box. But in the corner of my eye on the left side, I've seen Sergio dropping off. So that being said, you know, he never drops off. He always waits as a, as a fox in the box at that side. But now all of a sudden he, he drops off. So I changed my mind. Instead of going right, I just passed the ball to Aguero. Y en ese momento se me ocurrió bajar porque, bueno, no sé, dije, justamente buscaba eso. A ver si me queda alguna y sola, solo bajé a recibir la pelota. Y bueno, y ahí fue que tomé la decisión de buscarlo a Mario porque Eh, ya antes, no sé en qué jugada, le había dicho tratamos, tratemos de estar juntos para, para buscar alguna pared. Y, y bueno, lo primero que hago es eso. O sea, agarro la pelota y busco a Mario y bueno, y ahí después eh, sale la jugada que tiene que salir. It's 
scores the goal. Yeah, and that was that was everything was a blur because I was just running down behind him. He had the shirt and he stopped off, swinging around, going to the side, everybody hopping on, on each other, and we knew the game was done. The goal that won the title in 2011-12. Uh, uh, we, we, we were, I think that was a combination of pure instinct, but also very calculated finishing. It was a moment that didn't just win the league for City and became one of the, the Premier League's greatest. It also distilled what Aguero was a striker, a combination of all his talents in that regard. It was an amazing feeling. Um, I don't think you can ever recreate that that moment. It was just such a special feeling because it was such a thin line between disappointment and glory as well. It was crazy for that super talented group of players. That, that was kind of the start of the journey. But also, you know, that was once they got the taste of that. I think that's where the club went and thought, right, you know, we we, we got to kick on and win everything. And that goal from Sergio was was a huge part in that. As an Argentinian player, I'm, I'm very proud he represented our country in the best way possible. Nah, la realidad es que ni nosotros sabemos qué 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 es lo que pasó. Yo creo que pasó eso porque tenía que pasar, tenía que quedar en la historia de, del City y también tenía que quedar la historia de mi gol. <laughs> no sé qué sé yo. When Aguero first came through, there was almost this inclination to naturally compare him to his compatriot and one of his best friends, Leo Messi. I always thought he was actually more like another historically great striker in Romario. Roberto Mancini siempre, desde que llegué, me nos llevamos muy bien y él a mí me pone Chapulín Romario Menotti y cuando tenía 16 años. Y Mancini, bueno, eh, vio también una forma parecida y él me decía, me, me dijo que era lo que, te, lo que había dicho Menotti tenía un poco de razón, que tenía el estilo de él. I saw a player like him was Romario. Romario is, uh, is uh, Sergio is photocopy of Romario. Mm -hmm. It's the same player. Recuerdo, empecé muy chico, de los cinco años ahí en el, en el barrio, pero donde vivía. Y después, bueno, fui, fui jugando en distintos clubes de, de barrios, hasta que finalmente a los ocho años, ocho y medio, por ahí, fui a Independiente. Me gustaba mucho eh, Michael Owen. Here's Michael Owen, to tease torment again. Goes around Helding. Y, y después eh, algunos de Argentina que ya empezó a crecer, que, que empezaron a salir como Aymar, Saviola, Riquel, Meteves, todo, toda esa camada que, que bueno, me, me gustaba bastante. Pero siempre igual pensaba en, en querer llegar en primero, o sea, miraba a ellos y decía, ojalá algún día pueda estar ahí pero no, no me imaginaba tan, tan rápido. Cuando vine al Manchester, eh, al City, lo primero fue que contactó Mancini, no sé si con su padre o, o su abuelo, no, no, no sé, me parece su padre, con mi representante, y bueno, ahí fue la opción de que podía venir al Manchester City. Y, y bueno, yo la verdad que justamente estaba en el Atlético que había decidido salir. Y, y bueno, fue una decisión que en ese momento no sabía que iba a pasar, pero dije, bueno, es la Premier League. Está la Premier, el equipo bajo a Champions, Roberto Mancini, que un entrenador te quiere, también eso eh, influye bastante. And even though he's small, he was stocky, he was compact, you know, he had quads the size of a truck, both of them. 
So it was it was so hard to get him off the ball, and because of that, there came also the, the agility and the speed. So he was he was a perfect number nine. Physically, he was so strong, so they couldn't, you know, get him off the ball. I think that comes from growing up in Argentina, probably playing with bigger kids, having to protect the ball. He really personified Nero in that regard, Aguero. But then beyond anything else, one of the reasons he personified Nero was because of that extreme talent. It's my opinion that Sergio uh, is a really top player because uh, also he's a young, he's a young guy, but he scored a lot of goals until now. And I think that he can score more goals uh, for us. We had the likes of Carlos Tevez, who had already had a great year before that. I mean, you know, talking about another Argentinian, he was amazing. But the combination of the two of them was was the missing was was, was the missing link. There's Sergio Aguero, uh, looking forward to seeing him play sooner rather than later. Make it off the bench, and we might get a glimpse of him. The moment that he came on, you know, he scored his first game in the in the season. So that says something about the the personality and the, and the, and the fighting spirit that he had. So yeah, he was the missing link, even though we had other great strikers, but he was just that extra edge that we needed. Aguero! He can't stop that! It gets even better on his debut. So we all thought, wow, this guy is going to be a big, big player. He came in at the very start of that first title-winning season for Manchester City, and that was it. He was just one of those players that took them to a higher level. There's no other way to say it, really. He was just an extra level of class. From day one, you know, we've seen it at training sessions, we've seen it in games. He was always engaged. He was a great person also to hang around with. He was not be alone somewhere in the corner because he didn't speak the language. We took him quite in and that made him successful. And obvious also in the organization that we are uh, at City, it was easy for him to adapt. Sergio always had a smile on his face. You know, not mischievous, but always like a cheeky smile. He was just always happy. Amazing football player. I mean, the lads absolutely loved him. Pero tuve la suerte que estaba Zabaleta, Tevez, eh, Balotelli hablaban eh, no español, Yaya también. Había varios compañeros, Silva, que eso ayudó un poco también a adaptarme bien, ¿no? Así que, eh, por suerte, fue, fue muy... Antes era muy raro, dije, ¿qué va a pasar? En los entrenamientos eran bastante duros eh, de lo que venía yo en España. O me mato yo también porque o me van a lesionar esto porque son tan brutos que, que no le importa nada. Eh, en este caso lo mío era, bueno, yo empecé un poquito tímido, pero cuando empe me empezaron a dar ya me empecé a calentar y empecé yo también a pegar. Pero todo quedaba ahí en el entrenamiento, ¿no? O sea, era un, era un equipo eh, muy unidos en... en in the field, but in the training, we were like enemies. But then in the field, we were all together, all of us were together. Before the game, we played the cards. But it's a very different experience for me. And I think that after it was very difficult to get out of the game. And it's very difficult to get out of the game. And it's very difficult to get out of the game. Antes que la confianza, creo que tenés que estar tranquilo. O sea, no... Mi idea siempre fue jugar de, de la misma manera que, que lo venía haciendo desde muy chico. Y a medida que, que pasaban los minutos, yo, yo mismo iba agarrando confianza en la cancha. No, no, quizás antes no, no, no estaba pensando eh, algo como para que me dé confianza, sino que... En, en el mismo juego, en el mismo partido, eh, yo mismo por ahí me motivaba. El derby siempre de Manchester City y United fue... Desde que llegué fue muy... como el partido del año, porque al final el United siempre cuando yo llegué no se paraba de hablar del United, que que ellos venían de, de muchos años de ganar todo. No longer merely a local disagreement. Now it's a contest watched the world over. 
Pero bueno, y ahí empecé yo. Los primeros partidos fueron bastante duros el primer año. Me acuerdo que el, el, ganamos y perdimos, creo, la FK nomás. Pero después la liga ganamos el 6-1. Entonces, yo siempre al final los derbis lo tomaba muy, como, muy enfocado, digamos, ¿no? Al 100%, un poquitito más a veces. What stood out for me with Aguero was basically the movement of those feet, uh, his movement as a whole in terms of, I, uh, to be honest, I think that's where most of his goals came from. It was his positioning and his ability to read defenders, read play and suddenly appear. Aguero, yes! If you have time, you can think in effect, in 3D or whatever you want. But normally, you have to decide very quickly. Y nada, eh, es cuestión de dos segundos que, o menos dos segundos que recibir la pelota y ya tener que saber qué hacer. When you saw him play football, it was like, wow, I mean, this guy is, is really special. You know, the way he was able to get the ball, kind of maneuver it into his feet and maneuver it, and it was in the back of the net before you could even blink. Aguero. Aguero! The goal machine for Manchester City strikes again. Pegarle de puntín, no, no, primero eh, hizo un gol, me acuerdo que para mí fue uno mejor que contra Norwich, de local. Eh, creo que fue el primer año, ¿no? O el segundo, sí, el primer año. Y le pego puntín, pero no, no, eso te sale en el momento, no, 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 no es que lo pensás, sino en el momento que estás haciendo una jugada, por ahí la pelota se te queda en un momento difícil. Y lo primero que tienes que hacer es decidir eh, si es colocar puntín. Normalmente no, no es que defino siempre puntín, pero en ese momento me salió puntín y fue gol. He's probably one of the most natural finishers that I played with. Yeah, I played with some great finishers, but inside the 18 yard box, he was a different beast. He don't need a lot of chances. Por eso antes pensás un poco en En, en que si ya venís procesando que si te sale el arquero, si te la puedes picar, si no la puedes picar, si te, sale, si te aguanta el arquero, bueno, tíralo a un costado, eh, si me sale un defensa, no sé, como que vas pensando en el, en el partido y a medida que eh, te queda la pelota ahí, ya más o menos tenías pensado eso y bueno, re, digamos, lo, lo, lo haces natural, ¿no? Strikers always leave for goals. It's like that. And, and, and Sergio was a player who will guarantee you like 20, 25 goals each season. And if you have a player who can actually make something like that, you will have big chances to, to win trophies. His quick feet, the ability to stay low at the ground, you know, it was really hard for defenders to get hold of him and grasp him because he was always chopping away left and right and always that first step was so, so quick for the majority of the defenders. If I was picking one player to be true on goal and finish a one-on-one -on -one for me, Aguero would be fairly top of the list. Whenever he had a chance, you know, he could just slot it in from every angle. It doesn't matter if it was left, right, middle, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, he was by far one of the best uh, natural finishers that I played with. It's been great at Independiente, same and Atletico Madrid came to Man City and he took the club to, to another level by banging goals every single season. I 
I think that legendary status that he has right now is because of the numbers that he produced and he could always produce it. It, it looked that it didn't face him whatsoever. It looked so easy always and natural as well. And to walk off and walk out of the Premier League, you know, um, in your last game of the season for yourself, scoring two goals says something as well. I think it was uh, against Everton last game or if I'm not wrong, uh, it just went like, uh, OK, let's enjoy the last uh, 20 minutes of uh, my time at Man City. Give me the ball, I just score, and, and that's it. Oh, just imagine if he scores. Stolen by Florentino, it is Sergio a special person for all of us. Yes. We cannot replace him. We cannot. There are many players that uh, help us to be this club. What it is. We love him so much. He's a, he's a special person for all of us. To have a player stay at your football club as long as he did, when you probably could have, you know, obviously coming from Atletico, I'm sure Real Madrid wanted him, you know, I'm sure Barcelona wanted him, I'm sure, you know, everybody probably at some point asked a question, tried to get it from Man City, but he was just too important to the football club. Still the appetite is there for more. The good thing of Sergio is um, he made a big impact for the club. Not only he became a top player for the club, I think also he was one of the greatest strikers to play in the Premier League as well. The stat says it, you know, the amount of goals that he scored and the amount of games that he played is second to none. When Sergio was on his game, which was pretty much all the time, he was able to be in complete control. I've seen Sergio up there with the greatest uh, strikers like Aaron Shearer, Wayne Rooney. Uh, all those players just made you feel how, how good he's been uh, in the Prem. It's, it's great to see Sergio there. He's, he, he absolutely deserves it, as I say, uh, one of the greatest ever player to play in the league. I mean, it's just amazing how many goals he scored and he could switch on in a heartbeat. So he leaves a fantastic legacy behind, uh, not only for the Premier League, but especially for the people from Manchester City. Aguero! A thumping finish! He gave the Premier League one of its most memorable ever moments and, and, and one of the moments that makes the Premier League's legend. Sergio's legacy will forever live on, you know, and of course, you know, in the memories that he left behind for the majority of the fans at City. A true killer inside the box, a finisher, very skillful, uh, but also a really nice, nice lad. I was also very happy and, and proud to see Sergio having a statue outside uh, Etihad Stadium. He really deserved it. Uh... Pero sí que, que, bueno, por un lado me, me quedo muy feliz, contento de que esa estatua estará para siempre, salvo que venga uno y la rompa, pero cre creemos que no. Eh, pero bueno, es algo que para mí eh, va a ser una felicidad enorme hasta que el día que, que me muera, porque la estatua va a estar ahí para siempre y que el club me reconozca con Sí, ese gol al final el nombre que queda ¿no? como, como abuelo, o sea que al final eso va a quedar para, para siempre. Mismo en, en Argentina ya saben todos de, 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 ese, de, ese, de ese gol como, como lo comentó, ¿no? 
Así que sí, va a quedar para, para siempre, está claro. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.